Well, whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough to be doing it to, I am Bush Karam Blitz, and I'm very happy to be doing it today with and for you in the Object 140. Now, I know I promised not to do too many more 140 videos, but I can't help it. I can't stop playing the thing. It's like a sickness. Uh, if I take my hands off it for just a minute, they start shaking. <laughs> it's like watch, watching a man who's punched drunk and terrified uh i do love the 140 and bugger it i'm going to show you another game this is from the same run if you've seen the video of swiss cheesel carrying like a monster magnet in the t54 on fort despair this is from our t-rex run true story we won 22 games in a row in a cent one t54 plat we then thought we were killing it so we go to t-rex and dominate there and we lost five games in a row immediately straight out the gate with me running my favorite tank the object 140 this was the sixth game and if you don't think we were filthy by this point in time you got another thing coming we really really wanted to win this one uh and we knew it was going to be tough going up the hill because the waffle traeger is an axo guy uh, and he's a good player so we knew that he was going to hit one of us coming up the hill but if we wanted the hill we were going to have to take it and we were looking for him over there and there he goes hits me smacks my loader and i have to blow my kit and as usual because i'm an idiot i still haven't remembered to swap over my multi kit to the second place so before you all carry on like pork chops i understand now the t1185 is actually a uh, youtuber called youtube underscore wot blitz and has his own channel I think he actually posted this game uh, to his channel. I can't remember. He recorded it from the other side, which I thought would be very interesting. And I haven't looked at it yet at time of making the video. Now you can see that E4 um, goes hell for leather. Swiss has moved up onto my right, onto that area there, and he's getting shots down on the E4. He's also doing something very, very clever. He's proximity spotting anyone that's a heavy that comes up to that corner, uh, which will give targets, hopefully, to our Yag Tiger and our Waffle Tractor. Uh, who are right at the back at present now their waffle tractor as i said is a good player and i am pretty wary of him throughout the course of the game it's one of the reasons why i'm not moving around to the right um, i haven't been getting spotted here my camo is good at the moment and we're a tank down which is a worry for me uh, the e5 he's in a good spot i can't really put shots on him without moving forward they also have a t30 who is over on the lighthouse and if i push too forward get spotted by the t30 it'll be trouble i am going to look around here and just make sure that the waffle's not watching and then i'm going to sneak out and snap one into the side of this isa and then get the hell back out of town because i'm pretty certain that axo guy in the waffle tractor will be looking for me deluxe now as is so often the case we've taken the hill but it's all to naught They've still pumped down and are putting lots of damage in. The E100 has decided he's gonna go hell for leather. I track him. I'm hopeful of getting another track in on him, but instead I switch over to the E5. Uh, now he does a good job there. He hit point trades, but he had to do it to get that E100. And I'm just getting shots in the very, very thin sides of that American heavy tank. It's now though, three tanks on six which although possible is not ideal and suddenly it's three tanks on two tanks on five which is less than i was hoping for swiss manages to nut the e5 which is very very handy and then we've got the waffle tractor at the back we also have an e4 that has shots up here uh, if i get spotted and then pull back to the other side so i move down here just to back that waffle tractor off and you can see there big big problems if i stay out there i'm just trying to get him backed off reset camo and then i'm going to turn because swiss now has a t54 coming at him from the other side so things are looking pretty bloody grim uh get a nice shot in here on the t54 right into the top of the hatch uh and we're backing up again moving back because i'm pretty certain the waffle is now going to push on swiss which he does the ashen angel uh and i want to try and get a shot in on him He's not silly though, he's pulled right back until camo's reset. 
So I've got no choice. I've got to come over here and I've got to get a shot in on this 54, which obviously bounces because I'm a Russian tank. And although I do have more gun depression than the 54, I don't have enough to own this spot here. I can bounce some shots, which I do, and I can put some shots out. I've switched up to APCR again to get shots on the E4. But all I'm trying to do is put as much damage as possible into these boys as I can before they get up here. Now, it's a tough angle to hit the 140 like this when you're angled up quite quickly. Uh, the E4 is pushing right forward. And I'm going to jink him right as he shoots and end up taking it on the track, which is an absolute key point in the match. And then drive forward, pass the shot of the T-54, beat him on a reload, and get the kill. And suddenly... One versus four is down to one versus two. Now, what am I doing here? I'm waiting for camo to reset, and then I'm gonna move forward at pace, just in case that Waffle Tractor is up in their respawn and is looking directly across here with binoculars. Now, I know I'm probably gonna break a track here because it's quite a dip, so I'm just gonna let it happen nice and easy. I don't repair it though, just in case I need both kits, uh, and I'm gonna let it go. Now, Swiss is doing a little bit of misdirection in the chat. I think he's telling him to charge the hill or something. The T-30, in fact, has. I don't have the hit points to sit there mucking around with the T-30. I do, however, want to get shots back towards the hill. And you're going to see I'm spotting him in a sec. There he is. Simply because I've got excellent camo on this tank and optics. And I'm going to move all the way around here and make use of the brush. And there's the T-30. Let's get him going. Back it up, move back a little bit closer, and it's no time for the faint-hearted. We track, we move back, angle our upper glacis. There you go. That's why you angle that upper glacis, boys and girls. Miss this one, but we push down ASAP because we really, really need to get that T30. And here we go. Just me and the waffle waffle. <laughs> here he comes, and the Axo boy can play. However, he is in the waffle, which is a very, very, very soft tank. And we're going to switch to HE and look at the damage we put in here. 453. Great roll. Still got him. There we go. 414. Five kills. A big ass Kolobinov. And much, much joy. And we got our freaking win streak back. My God, we were struggling up until that point. 7,186 damage. Um, yeah, all in all, good game. 1,687 XP. That'll keep the <laughs> that'll keep the punters happy. And there's YouTube uh, underscore Water Tank Splits one. He uh, he, I think also recorded the game. Can't wait to see it from the other side. In fact, should be pretty cool. Drove around a lot, shot a lot of stuff. Uh, we only had seven rounds of heat in that, and we used them all when it went to serious business up the top on the hill. And the E4 and the T54 pushed me, and every shot had to count. Um, so we actually made 12,000 credits. Just shows you how much it costs to repair one of these tanks and run it with provisions. T-Rex is not for the faint of fiscal heart. Uh, lots of stuff going on, boys and girls. If you haven't already considered sponsoring the channel, please do. Uh, Patreon is a wonderful thing, a wonderful community, and there's a lot of people involved in it at the moment. It's become just a, a bloody lovely place to be and chat and talk. Um, Another thing, the shoulder or wonking damage competition. Make sure you send all your videos, uh, upload them to Dropbox or YouTube or Google Drive and send me either a link or, or whatever at bushkawonking at gmail.com. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I certainly did. It put a stop to the bleeding, uh, the absolutely ridiculous amount of bleeding we were doing at T-Rex and we started rocking and rolling from then on. I'm Bushcron Blitz. Look after your families. And until next time, stay safe on the battlefield.